Next case. Case two. I can take this one, Dr. Okay. Arnett. So we see uh, deeper in the dermis uh, structure. And when we look closely, we see multiple uh, filamentous uh, structures in there um, with uh, granulomatous reaction around with a few giant cells. Um, and this is uh, good for uh, suture granuloma. Very good, yeah. And so there's lots of different types of suture. Um, uh, some is dissolvable and we don't see very often, and some is, uh, is more permanent. You guys know way more about suture than I do. But uh, the, uh, this is a braided uh, synthetic suture, and you're, if you were to use polarized light to look at this, usually this will be very uh, birefringent and, and brightly uh, polarizable, and uh, sometimes has kind of a rainbow uh, appearance. Let me see, I think I've actually got um, an example. So here's an example of uh, when you get a really nice uh, braided uh, polarizable, a uh, uh, braided suture and you polarize it. Isn't that amazing? There's the, uh, so this is basically very similar to the type of suture I think that we have in the current case. Because that's what it looks like on H&E. And then when you use polarized light, isn't that awesome? Pretty cool stuff. Always, always a, a, a nice one to show to the, the junior uh, trainees and they give appropriate oohs and ahs when you do that. All right, so that's a suture granuloma. And sometimes sutures can perforate out if they're close to the top, they can perforate out through the epidermis. And another clue for a suture here is, look, we got a scar right there. All right, 